Psalms chapter 43. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Seeking God for judgment. In this day and age, we don't seek God for judgment. We're told to judge ourselves. We're to put our sins, our actions under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't want to be judged by God. We want to stand with God with an empty record with Jesus Christ as our advocate. Well, what the, the psalmist is saying here is, uh, against an ungodly nation is compare me with them, Lord. Look how wicked they are. That's proper. <laughs> Lord, look at those bad guys compared to me. Oh, deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. Again, they're enemies. People who are against you. They're going to be around you. And you're going to pray, God, get rid of them. And you know, I don't know if that's really a good prayer. Because God may get rid of these deceitful unjust man. And what if he puts a more deceitful or even more unjust man in your life? What's the answer to that? It's found in the New Testament. Love your enemies. And do good to them that, that, that uh, use you and persecute you. You're not to pray for, to, get, for, to get rid of them. You're to pray and help them. You don't know what God will send and, and replace. This nation, oh, we want to get rid of President Obama. We want to get rid of President Obama. Maybe God will answer. Well, actually, he has to answer that prayer. Going by the rules of this nation, if they mean anything, President Obama can't run for office again. What if he gives us somebody who's even worse? <coughs> what could be even worse than be giving someone who's even worse that he's a Republican? And watch me laugh in your face. You wouldn't do that. Yes, I would. For thou art the God of my strength. Your strength is to be God. Oh, I lift weights. and No, you lift God up in prayer. You lift God up in blessings. You lift God up in, in testimonies. You lift God up. And then let him take care of you. You won't need strength with God. Why dost or dost thou cast me off? And there are going to be times in your life you're going to think, Hey, God, where are you? And what can you give to a born again Christian? Well, I don't feel God's in my life, and I got the King James Bible. I'm doing what I'm supposed to. And I could read to you that Jesus Christ on the cross and God forsook him. Take your cares of Jesus. He's gone through everything that we've gone through. Well, he was never married, didn't need to be. Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? God knows. Why did Job go so long as he did? Why did Paul get all the problems? All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Marvel not the world hates you. Don't expect from God a sugar-coated cake that's yummy and delicious and everything you want. That's not Christianity. And there's going to be times that you're going to want relief. I mean, there was times Jesus tried to get off, and if you, if you read in the Gospels, he tried to go off and be, get away from the people. He couldn't. One time the disciples got upset after John the Baptist was beheaded. His disciples come up and he says, hey, all right, let's go off into the desert place. And rest. Well, now you've got four or five thousand people. They're hungry, and they're like, "Lord, some away." You said we were here for a vacation, and we still got these people following us. What are we gonna feed them with? We just had our 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 our, our follower. He just was beheaded in prison, and we gotta take care of a bunch of these people. He's like, "Sit down, relax." 
Give me the bread. Give me the fish. Sometimes the enemy is going to get you. Sometimes you just need to get off alone. Try to get off alone. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. That's the Lord Jesus Christ, John chapter 1. Full mercy, full truth, the light that cometh into the world. Let them lead me. Light and truth. Lord Jesus Christ is to lead you in the way, the truth and the light. The Lord Jesus Christ is the narrow path, the straight gate. Let them bring me unto the holy, unto thy holy hill. Okay, where's the holy hill in the church? There is none. This is talking to a Jew in Jerusalem. Why would he say holy hill? Because the males would appear before the Lord in Jerusalem three times a year. <clears throat> and not only the holy hill, but to thy tabernacle. Not only the Jerusalem, but where the tabernacle is. And it says tabernacle knows. I wonder if the writer of this, you got David's and you got Solomon's maybe. I don't know. But it's an S. And there was a time in Israel they were meeting all over the place because there was no sure place to meet. Even Solomon had to go to one of the mountains before he built the temple. All right, then will I go unto the altar of God. That's the brazen altar where all the animals were killed and the blood was shed. Unto God my exceeding joy. Even though you're being oppressed, even though you think God's not with you, even though you're praying, Lord, uh, you know, deliver me from these unjust men, you are my exceeding joy. Exceeding joy. Exceeding joy. You couldn't get that exceeding joy in the wilderness for 40 years anytime. That's why it was so hard for him. Be joyful in the Lord. Yea, upon the heart. I guess this guy could play the heart. Well, I praise thee, O God, my God. So he could play the heart, and he played it for the Lord. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? 42, we talked about that. And why art thou disquieted within me? Come on, soul. You're supposed to speak life. You're supposed to speak what the Lord wants. You're the eternal part of me. Hope in God. Speaking to the soul again. For I shall praise him who is the health. You mean not the doctors? Not the medication? Of my countenance. That's your facial expression. Should be happy, joyful, lightened. And my God. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee 
How great Thou art.